Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. Tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in and spirit get this TV out real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy. But no matter what comes out, fam, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. I can't never get these damn cards. Yeah. Mm. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, the messages are always timeless, fam. So whenever you come across the message, that's exactly when spirit has it for you. To all subscribers and members of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not subscribed or a member of the channel, fam, I thank you so, so much for coming and spending some of your time with me and viewing the message. I greatly appreciate you. Well, let's go ahead and get into this. I hope y'all doing well wherever y'all are in this crazy, crazy ass world. Let's see your Holy Spirit. What's the message for fam today? I had to make sure the deck was in the other. Oh, Chad, you got a whole lot of people watching you. <laughs> Talking about you. This ain't no shock to you, Chad. Some of y'all are clear audience, and you can actually hear the conversations that people are having about you. It's a lot of jealous people out here because I heard you're a rising star. Somebody could also have an Aquarius rising. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody got some, um, this pink hair is cute. I don't know who this is, this pink hair, but it's really cute. I heard Gabrielle and Nicole. Hmm. Sasha? Okay, okay. Yeah, we got the food card here. We got Aries energy coming through here. Somebody could have Libra highly aspected in that chart as well. I see the scales. Hmm, this has something to do with your abundance. Or specifically your money. Yeah. Well, let's get with it. Holy Spirit, what's the what's the message here for my fans? What's the message, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got the seven of pentacles right here. Oh. <laughs> Is this one or two cards? It feel thick. Oh, somebody money finna stack all the way up. This card feel really, really thick. Like two cards. Oh, child. Y'all got enough room for all that money? Because I'm talking to, oh, child. Somebody think you bougie. <laughs> somebody got like a, I'm hearing a teacup Yorkie. Or you got like a, a, a animal, like a pet. That you take really good care of, man. Who is that? Who's who's dressing like they pet? What we doing? They go that pink hair again. Yeah, it's like I don't know what this investment is that you're making, but you finna watch it pay out. This could be an investment in yourself with that food card. Some of y'all should take a risk on yourself, like take that leap. I see you paying off. Hmm. Yeah, this could also have something to do with your emotions. It don't have to just do with your, with your, uh, your, your pinnacles here. Yeah, but you gotta get out that lack mindset, fam. Yeah, cause it's like somebody like I, I built this for myself, but if I take that leap, what if I lose? What if you, what if you win? Yeah, what if you win? Speak positively about whatever this situation is. Because I clearly heard watch the money pile up. Yeah, but if this is about your emotions and how much time you put into a certain situation. Yeah. Earth sign out here heavy. Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody likes the finer things in life. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, seven of cups right here. I see seven, seven. Honestly, fam, I see whatever this is paying off. You may not see like proceeds like right off the bat. But man, I see this turning into something very lucrative. If this is just a, uh, we're not going to call nobody business small. Because all y'all businesses are big. You get me? 
You're going to turn your big business into something even bigger. Seven times four. You know what I'm talking about? So invest in yourself, fam. Like real stuff is. Yeah. I see when y'all was up. Somebody here. I love the energy because it's like you had it, lost it, and you finna get it again. Yeah. But it's important for y'all to remember, like, see, that's why Spirit said invest in yourself. Because I see when y'all needed it, a lot of people slept on y'all. Nobody was around. People talk shit about y'all. Y'all see that snake right there? Also, happy Pride Month um, to all my LGBTQ fam out there. Oh, it's there. Yeah, we got the seven of swords right here. Somebody is trying to, you know what, fam, this is why you keep hearing cover your, this is giving hierophant energy with that, um, it's just giving me the, the, the hat that sits on top of the hierophant's head. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, right? Somebody right here, you have the ability to see into the future. Yeah, you, you, you are, yeah. There's somebody here trying to mess with you in your sleep. That's why it's important for you to cover your crown. Somebody's trying to send an evil eye towards you. So you will be in a lack mindset, fam. So that you won't, you know, invest in yourself or, you know, take that leap. This could be a relationship because that, that's giving me hierophant. It's a relationship here that somebody... I mean, I don't feel like you're you're satisfied in the situation. I don't know. This could be financial. You know, finances, boy, they will turn a relationship to shit. Financial issues will turn a relationship to shit. It's also jealousy, her. So somebody, I don't know. This could be same sex. Don't have to be, though. But it's like some of y'all, I don't know if you already took the leap and the leap is paying off. And then somebody else right here, they're in this lack mindset. So that's just where they'll be. And then they get jealous of you. And this is somebody that's supposed to be building with you. Not working against you. Yeah. But it ain't just the person that was, you know, in a relationship with you. It's a lot of people out here trying to mess with your crown. Uh, have you second guessing a lot of opportunities that's coming towards you and things like that. I heard somebody don't want you to believe in yourself. I heard Christian. Wow. So I don't know if someone's name is Christian. Or if this is a religious like type situation, like you have a religious group coming up against you for some reason. And now when I say religious, people do, you know, spirituality, people consider it a religion. So there could be different people that's spiritual, whatever, coming up against you. Like you just got to protect yourself right now, fam, seriously. You know, you ain't, you ain't, this is not your energy. You are not the type to have a lack mindset. Yeah. Somebody could be an Aquarius because y'all know Aquarius, they got this mindset where it's always about um uh, the next big thing. Like they want to do this, they want to do that. They like they got this creative mind. So it's like somebody Gemini. Somebody could be Aquarius with Gemini in their chart or Gemini with Aquarius in their chart. Just take the energy how it resonates. But it's like somebody is so creative and somebody wants to get that front, they want to steal that. Yeah, because it's like I'm seeing different streams of income, all kind of stuff for you. Now, you don't have to be those signs, but I'm just saying. Yeah. It's, you need to protect yourself right now, fam. Like, seriously. Yeah, especially if you're like a business owner of some sort. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune right there. <laughs> to the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, yes. Yeah. But somebody, it's like trying to steal your destiny or something like that, and it's not going to work. Y'all see how those are going straight toward her head and her eyes, she's sleeping. 
You got a lot of energy that comes around you, fam, when you're sleeping to uh, to cipher, to feed off of you, to to plant things in your head. That's why it's important for y'all before you lay down to cover, you, you know, your entire house, your everybody in it, your household, yourself. Yes, pray before you go to sleep because you have energies coming around you every night trying to to. To, to take, to steal, to manipulate. Y'all. And I feel like some of y'all just sleep so peacefully. <laughs> Something is about somebody with a lot of little plants. I don't know what they're called, but it's somebody like little plants. <laughs> Spirit just said somebody don't wear makeup a lot. But when you do, oh my God, it's like flawless. And that's another, <laughs> you got too many people out here just, I don't know. This It's ridiculous, fam. I don't know why Spirit had me stopping at those three cars, because y'all know. But, okay. Yeah, look, it's a lot of people watching you. It's night terrors. I'm telling y'all. Somebody is trying. So somebody is trying to make you have nightmares. They're trying. So yeah, look. <laughs> the tower. Fam, what is this next business move that you're supposed to be making? Because somebody knows about it. And they're trying to. Yeah, the Empress. I'm telling you, there's some creativeness going on here. It's creativity. Somebody's creative juices are flowing. You're coming back into balance with yourself. Somebody can have Libra, Leo, highly aspected in a chart. Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus. Holy Spirit. Yeah, what is this? I don't know. It's some somebody thinking it's something about edibles or something. Yeah, look. Some of y'all be fighting like hell and y'all sleep, huh? <laughs> Boy, it's taking all these people to come up against one person. I, I can't. Yeah, look. This is nuts. I'm telling you. Somebody is trying to put the fur. They trying to scare you. So, look, look, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. This is why it's very important for y'all to stay prayed up. Because somebody, and I don't, you know what I'm talking about? Somebody woke up and you saw something. Yo, Spirit said you saw something at the end of your bed. Oh, good goodness. Mm -hmm. Light a blue candle. Put some water under your bed. Put a glass of water under your bed, fam. Light a blue candle. Light a yellow candle. Light a white candle. Because somebody done lit a red candle on your ass. Somebody done lit a red candle. They done lit a black candle. Mm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, Virgo Aquarius energy. Let's see. Somebody. <laughs> yeah, fam. Protect yourself right now. Aries, Taurus. Cause they trying, here they go again with this bullshit. Yeah, these energy motherfucking vampires. So somebody is trying to, to scare you seriously. Yeah, the devil, the enemy. Somebody right here, I'm telling you, look at that Capricorn energy right here. Mm. If there's a relationship that you truly value, fam, cover that as well. Cause they come, they trying to come for that too. Two of swords. People are crazy. Yeah. Somebody is also trying to make it where y'all cannot sleep because it's so much on your mind about your financial situation. I just heard Jesus will work it out. Yeah. This is just somebody trying to project energy towards y'all, and y'all need to understand this. Yeah. Up your protection. Holy Spirit. What's this five of Pentacles? The King of Wands right here told you your your business. Yeah. 
Protect your money, fam. Because somebody, they coming for it. Mm -hmm. Somebody is also trying to, I'm telling you, they're trying to make you doubt a masculine energy here. I don't know if they're trying to make you look at this person as less than. Shit, some of y'all from them comments, y'all already look at somebody less than. But this is for y'all that actually value a, a relationship. This not that y'all are in, in the relationship, you know, coupled up. But this is somebody like this could be your divine counterpart or something like that. If you value the person, the relationship that y'all still have right now, it's important for you to protect that. Because somebody here, they're fucking with you, trying to make you look at this masculine as um, less than, he don't equal up, things like that. And it could have something to do with finances. Money don't make the person. I don't know why our world, our society now, puts so much emphasis on money. Does it make life easier? Yes. But is it is, is it the end all be all? No. I just really feel like if you pour into what it is you love, most high gonna bless it and you gonna you gonna profit from it. Like truly, that's what I believe. But also, fam, focus. Cause somebody they trying to take your focus off the bigger picture. Holy Spirit. Yeah, high priestess right here. Some of y'all have a, a tarot business. We're not even gonna say tarot. It's tennis wars at the bottom of the deck. Whatever this spiritually based business, it's, oh, come through. Fam, who's thinking about starting this spiritually based business? But you don't know. you like, if I pour into this and it don't go nowhere, then you can't think like that. If you're being led to do something, be obedient. Be obedient and watch how most I pour into you. Bro. I'm telling you, fam, some of y'all, if you just, if you, if you focus... Be obedient. You're going to have one hell of a testimony. I always said. Thank you. Yeah. The Knight of Cups. Express yourself. Somebody right here, I'm telling you, you have been blessed with a gift. And it's to bring like, uh, somebody could have Leo highly aspected in a choice because I heard to bring joy to the world. And it's through like I something. It's like expressing your feelings, but the way it's like Queen of Swords energy. Funny, quirky, but honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody, I'm telling you, they want you to, it's like somebody actually wants you to be like, I, I know it's something better for me out there. I know it's something, yeah, it, it's craziness. Because I want you to realize it's a king on this side and it's a knight over there. So somebody is really trying to take the high priestess out of their element. But yeah, look, the seven of cups. Yeah, fam, I got a tick. I don't know why I heard fame when I said fam. Some of y'all are going to the top, like seriously. But Spirit is saying it is important for you to stay humble. Man, stay humble. Yo, it's somebody trying to, it's like pinning you and your person against each other. Like real shit. And it's through both of y'all dream states. But for high priestess, it's more you than your person. Because you're, let's just keep it a buck. You're way more powerful than your counterpart. So they fuck with you, which in turn fucks with your person, which in turn fucks with the whole relationship. So somebody's trying to really turn your world upside down. They're trying to affect your finances. They're trying to affect your intuition. They're, they want you to be in this lack mindset of everything that you have right now is not enough. And yes, the fuck it is. Be grateful for what you have now. And I'm telling you, bro, it's so much going to be added on to you. There's also a masculine energy. Yeah, your counterpart, Libra energy here. We got the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands, Justice, the High Priestess. That's what I'm saying. Even when y'all back so against each other, I really do feel like the y'all. This it's a protective energy out here. Even when y'all not together, y'all still energetically connected in some type of way, and y'all got each other back. I don't care what y'all say. Yeah. 
Somebody is trying to create this illusion, fam. Like, seriously. Also, somebody wants y'all to be so focused on money that you really don't... Um, uh, it's like, I don't have time for love and things like that. Yeah. That could even be, you know, like your counterpart over here. Just take the energy how it resonates. But just know that somebody is messing with both of y'all. Yeah. We got the five of cups right here to the four of ones. Yeah. So somebody knows that this person is your, your actual divine person, your counterpart, your divine masculine or divine feminine. And they're trying to keep y'all apart. For one reason or another. Also, fam, I don't know who you are, but this is about a spiritual community. And somebody is trying to create illusions around that. I don't understand what that means. This could be like a... Uh, like we were talking about, somebody thinking about, you could, okay, let's just use this as an example. Somebody thinking about starting a, um, a um, metaphysical store. And it's like, you know, it's so many people that's in the same business as me. What if mine don't, you know, do this? What if I don't get patronized? What, what if you do? Because I see as somebody being, if you advertise your business, Invest in yourself. You see what I'm talking about? It's going to go a long way. These motherfuckers don't want to see you make it. No, they don't because they know that you are. If you act, people know that once you put your mind to some fam, you, gonna, you, you all in. Love, life, whatever. Career. You ain't no fickle, you know, wishy-washy motherfucker. You're going to pour your all into whatever it is you do. And that's what's going to keep you winning. People know that about you. They seen it for themselves, Spirit just said. So obviously these are people that are around you. They watch you. It's several. We got the seven of cups out here twice. Seven, seven, seven. Big lotto. Shout out. See what I'm talking about? You winning. How can you lose? People want to see you lose. They want, they want you to feel like you can't win in whatever this situation is. And yes, the fuck you can. Fam. You are the magician. You are a true alchemist. You know how to transmute this energy. Don't let these motherfuckers fuck with your head and, and keep you from building your empire. Yo. It keep coming out something here about a it's a it's a nursing home or a group home or this is either a convenience store. <laughs> It's all kind of whatever your business is that you're thinking about. Somebody want to be a model? You going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> it gave me that Mary Tyler Moore. When she was walking down the street, she threw her head up in it. Yeah, you're going to make it. Whatever it is, fam, you're going to make it. Somebody out here, let me tell you something. And I'm speaking straight to my tarot readers that watch my channel. Let me tell you something. Subscribers, I love y'all to life. Y'all know that I do. My loyal ones, you know this ain't for you. Some of these motherfuckers are fickle as fuck. You say one thing they don't like, they will unsubscribe. That mean they wasn't supposed to be there. Don't let them numbers affect what Most High done called you here to do. Those numbers are just numbers, baby. You got a whole mission to complete. So you, you could be a tarot reader. And these people out here, bro, bro, they trying to figure out for one, where you came from. How you doing what you doing. They get jealous. Yo, they want to stifle the fuck out of you. Like I said, some of y'all are, are fucking psychic. You don't need these damn cards. People know that because you speak. They don't, don't, don't let these motherfuckers, uh, they done came across your channel, bro. Yeah, why else would they be trying to tear your ass down? Keep going. Them numbers ain't nothing. They gonna come. Trust me. You walk in your purpose and you walk in the light, most high gonna add all that onto you. Don't let these people stop you. Because it's somebody I heard that wanna stop you. Holy Spirit, what's the Seven of Cups? Thank you. 
Ten of Cups, you can't make this shit up. That business that you that you thinking about starting, but it's like you going back and forth with yourself. Child, you you not wishy washy. So what what what's that? You should have been questioning that a long time ago. Y'all know that ain't child energy. If you don't know who's sending it to you, give it to the universe. They do, and they'll send it right back. Yeah. There's, you know what, fam? And I, you, I, this is weird, cause, bro, <laughs> I am finna say this. I'm finna say this. Me right here. There, there's a relationship out here, and there's several different reasons for you to uh, value this relationship and be happy in this relationship. But somebody got is focused on money. And that's what's bringing it all crashing down. Fam. That's somebody throwing projecting energy at you. That's how they feel. They feel like relationships are transactional. So they want you to feel the same way too. Love conquers all, bro. I'm talking, man, look. Let me tell y'all something. It was a time when I, bro, and this wasn't too long ago. Because I didn't start my journey until 2020. And it's 2024, but I'm going to tell y'all something. I've been on that journey and I've been on that journey tough. I done had my ups and my downs. But when a motherfucker sleep on a pallet next to your ass, yeah, be broke down everything and still go through that with you, how the fuck you going to focus on money now? It's something more valuable out here than money. Y'all got real, true, genuine love between two people. This possibly not going to resonate with a whole lot of people. But it's love out here. But somebody wants somebody to lose all of that and focus on money. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose a soul? Somebody. Soulmate. Oh my goodness. Yo. Holy Spirit. Second of Cups. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. You can't make this up. Somebody could be younger than you. Or you know, somebody just, you know, they you have more than them. You're further along in life than they are. I don't I this weird because I usually don't even get messages like this. But somebody out here need to hear this. Whatever this relationship is, fam, keep pouring into it. Because I'm telling you, somebody right here, they do not want you to. They want you to snatch your love back, put a lid on it, and walk on away. But Spirit keeps saying, look at the bigger picture. Some of y'all got a family with this person. Yeah, somebody y'all can feel like somebody right here. It's like they keep their head in the clouds or something, Spirit just said. Yo. Somebody here has, why are you thinking about it losing your home? You're not going to lose your home. Somebody also, you feel it. Somebody, look, let me tell you, this message is different for me. <laughs> it's somebody I heard that feels like if they express themselves, then they're going to lose something. You're not going to lose anything. This is somebody, I don't know if this is you wanting to express how you feel to somebody. Or if this is somebody wanting to express how they truly feel to you. But either way it goes, it's like somebody is like, if I do this, then what if? What if it go good? Let's focus on the positive. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's what I'm saying. Queen of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. You have enough. Everything that you need in your daily life is going to be provided for you, fam. Yeah, we got the page of cups here. You know what, fam? It's like one apology could fix this whole situation that y'all going through. So that's why spirit is telling somebody to take the leap. Somebody is, it feels like a fear. 
I don't I don't get this because it really feel like it's somebody out here that want you to feel like somebody is against you or they want somebody to feel like you're against them and that's not the case. It's somebody on the outside that's throwing shit. Hmm. Yeah, and it's like it's it's slowing the relationship down. Yeah. You know what, fam? That's okay, turn it down. Cause somebody right here, they trying to it's like doing everything they can. This has everything to do with your intuition. So they're trying to mess with your money, they're trying to mess with your relationship, the stability of your home and everything in order to stop you from possibly giving messages or tapping into your intuition. Or something like that. That's somebody's way of throwing the evil eye at you. Yeah. Somebody is so envious of you in, in your entire life. Do somebody somebody don't even really truly know y'all. But it's just like it's giving assumptions. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the Knight of Swords is here. Hmm. I'm telling y'all, one apology could change this whole situation. Like, seriously. Somebody is, I'm telling you, oh my goodness, somebody's trying to make you look at your partner as less than. They're trying to make you irritated with your children. It's just like somebody is really trying to fuck with your mental really, really bad. Fam, amp up that goddamn protection. Like, seriously. Somebody really wants y'all to make impractical decisions here. Like, for real. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, fam. Watch that. I don't know who you are, but you have children. And it's important for you to watch how you talking to them. You know that you're not like that with your kids. Well, your children. Because my sister, bro, every time I say kids, you don't have no kids. You have children. Okay, sissy. Good goodness. Hey, girl, I love you. <laughs> I'm talking about she turns to my ass every time I call my children kids. You won't have no chick. She told she said one thing I know about. I was talking about my nephew one time. I love my nephew so much. And she was like, one thing I know about him, he ain't got no kids. He got children. I was like, Lord have mercy. I love her. Baby, yes, and that's the truth. Ice and swords on the bottom of the deck. Everything I done told y'all is the truth. I love my sister beyond words, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but we got the King of Cups right here to the Queen of Cups. So this you snippets. Turn. So that's why that song was on when I started this mess. 3311, as I'm telling y'all this. That song by uh Krishan and Gloss Up, Shout Shouts, Niggas Act Like Bitches. It's a masculine energy out here, fam. This is the person attacking you. Y'all have a masculine energy attacking y'all. Yeah. So this is somebody right here that you had a little fling or something with, fam. And you you're you're dealing with somebody else that's actually your counterpart. Yeah. And I cut it on the, the King of Cups again effortless, effortlessly. So something between you and somebody is supposed to just flow naturally, but somebody keeps projecting energy into the situation to cause a uh, conflict. I heard stagnation, things like that. So I show off whomever this crazy motherfucker is. Don't think just because you ain't with somebody else, you gonna come running back to them. Yeah, somebody is also, I'm telling you, somebody's trying to make you dream about them. If this is a love situation, somebody is trying to make uh, like astral travel. So you might be seeing this person in your dreams. What is that? I know I just saw it. Can't make it up. Somebody does this all the time. But I'm telling you, whatever this is, somebody cannot not fully separate you and another person. They can't. Y'all are divine counterparts. Y'all gonna always be energetically connected in one way or another. Sagittarius energy at the bottom of the deck. 
temperance. Got soulmates. I can't make this shit up. Thank you. Six of Wands. This is a relationship that is supposed to lead toward marriage. Yeah. And somebody just don't want that to happen. So they keep energetically uh, interfering. That's nuts. Y'all know masculine energy, but I'm looking at a man that's, that's jealous of you, Divine Feminine. In a relationship or a bond that you have with somebody else. Y'all don't have to be in a physical relationship with this person. It's just a bond that you and somebody else have. You can have children with this person. Hell, y'all could co-parent very well for all I know. Or could have been. Until somebody started fucking around in y'all energy. That's nuts. Holy Spirit. What's this Seven of Swords? Who is this person actually attacking? Because it really feels like they're attacking you, Divine Feminine, which in turn attacks your masculine. Somebody is an air sign here, and that's the truth. This is what I'm saying. They're trying to attack your masculine. Yeah, the hanged man. Somebody right here, they want you to see your masculine is not trustworthy. I'm talking, I'm, that's when I'm not good enough, things like that. It's a, it's, it's a, this is absolutely nuts. Y'all got different people out here, different masculine energies out here trying to throw shit at y'all to interfere with a bond or a relationship that you have with another person. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Somebody really wants y'all to see this masculine as immature. Or, you know, somebody could somebody could be throwing energy at this masculine to make him act this way. I'm not going to make no excuses for nobody. I didn't cut it. People are grown. You have choices that you can make. And now look at her. No. Energy can be thrown, yes. But ultimately, the actions and the decisions are of that person. So somebody acted the way towards y'all that they wanted to act. Was it something being thrown? Yes. But we all have control over ourselves. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Hmm. I'm sorry. I had to get that out. Yeah, but others of y'all, somebody wants y'all to see this person as this person. But it's like, honestly, the actions ain't adding up to whatever somebody got in their head. It's like somebody is choosing not to see that the fact that this person is stand up. So it could be the, the, the financial situation of the, yeah. I don't know. Somebody have got money. I don't know who this is that got money. This is the person that keeps trying to throw this uh, energy at you to make you look at your masculine this way. Yeah, the eight of wands right here to make you think that everything they saying is lying. Every time they open their mouth, they lying. You can't trust them. You got to watch them. Yeah, things like that. Somebody wants you to feel like this masculine that you're dealing with is the enemy. Gemini. And when they're really not. It's just the fact that some of you chose somebody over somebody else. And they salty. Somebody wants you to come running back to them or something. They don't have a chance in hell. And this is what they need to know. Somebody needs to understand that but if this is your energy, if this is your story, you and this man are always able to talk things out. Yeah, but I'm telling you, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Yeah, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody, <laughs> we got the six of pentacles right here. This is, it's look at her now. Yeah, the hierophant. I told y'all something supposed to lead to a marriage. So this is somebody that you were dealing with and somebody they were dealing with. And both of these motherfuckers are throwing at y'all. So you got somebody that you were dealing with that's throwing at you. And your masculine got somebody they were dealing with that's throwing at them. And it's all because y'all chose each other. And not those two people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is 
is absolutely nuts. Somebody could have actually been honest and said, okay, you know, I know I want to, I'm, 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 this is my person. I want to give to my person, you know, you left somebody out. They don't like that. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords right here. That's the damn truth. There will be a breakthrough in communication with you and somebody. I'm telling y'all, somebody want to come and tell y'all something. Fam, let's, let's turn it down right now. Let's turn it down. Because y'all, I don't know if y'all going to like what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it. Somebody wants to come and be very expressive with you. <laughs> okay. They want to be very expressive with you. Don't come at this person like, rah, 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 rah. You know what I'm talking about? If you really want something with this person, you want to try to get this back on track, it's, it's best for you to sit and listen and communicate. Listen to understand, comprehend, and not to respond. You see what I'm talking about? Actually, let somebody speak, you know, tell you what it is that they have to say to you. Somebody might be even coming in, being honest with you and telling you, look, yeah, I was dealing with somebody else. But I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, it's a whole lot of stuff going on out here. So either way it go, whatever somebody's trying to do is going to backfire. They still not going to get their wish no matter what situation this is. They're not going to get what it is that they want out of a situation because I see something still moving along. Yeah, it could take a little hit, you know what I'm talking about? But it's still going to move along her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, the three of the three of pentacles to the temperance. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You see the six of pentacles, then we got the three of pentacles. Somebody's trying to separate the two of y'all. They're trying to split y'all up. Mm. Somebody is really fucking with your head, fam. We got that king of swords up there. But it's somebody right here that wants y'all to think that your person is giving to somebody else. So it's, it's an accusatory energy out here. Yo. This is craziness. I'm telling you, it's Sagittarius temperance out here. Something right here is going to work out. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm telling you, whatever, it's going to lead to a marriage. This is you and your person. Y'all might be on different pages right now, but something here is going to work out. Yeah, some, this is craziness. Somebody right here, there, I don't, something... <laughs> If you're in separation from somebody right now, they're in, okay, turn it down, okay. Let's say you and this person are in separation right now and you're dealing with someone else. You really do need to check the energy of the person that you're dealing with because they are the ones who's projecting this energy towards you, fam. Somebody has such a fear of you returning to somebody that they're projecting that energy towards you. Oh, that person ain't shit and all this other kind of stuff and they make me so sick. That's somebody projecting energy towards you so you will not return to your divine counterpart. Male or female here. But that's damn sure what's happening. Somebody did not want me telling y'all that. Y'all see how somebody slammed their toilet seat down in there. They like, shit. <laughs> yeah. Two of Wands to the Two of Cups. I'm telling you, two, two. Twin flame energy right here. Divine counterparts, soulmates. Y'all were chosen for each other. Yeah. By the most high. We saw the hierophant. This is crazy. Yeah, the Nine of Cups right here. I'm telling you, this is a destiny that will be fulfilled. I don't care what somebody try to do. Ace of Wands right there. The Magician. See, that's what I'm talking about. Whomever this is doing all this stupid ass projecting and I heard chanting or whatever this is, they can go on and get the hell on with all of that. 
Yeah, because it's like the more that this part, they gonna be left. To, yeah, this third party, they gonna be left by themselves or something like that. Somebody here, they could even got with their friends. Yeah, Cancer energy right here, Cancer Virgo. Somebody got with their friends and did some type of uh, ritual. So somebody could be uh, connected to a high priest or a high priestess and they went to this person and it's like, look, I don't want such and such to go back to such and such. Can you help me out? And somebody did. Whomever you are, you got to know that you're going under judgment along with whomever this person is because your ass decided to try to interfere with the motherfucking divine uh, union. And y'all already know, most high ain't, ain't, ain't rocking with that. So somebody done got themselves entangled into some bullshit because somebody right here having fear of y'all leaving them. I just heard somebody finna suffer for everything that they've done. Somebody's getting ready to suffer. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know what that means. You know. Mm. This relationship is highly protective, fam. I'm telling you. But somebody tried to fuck with it. Somebody tried to block out what was destined. They're trying to, yeah, keep two people that's destined to be together from coming together. Can't make it up. They go to five of swords right there. This is a highly protected union right here. Yeah. This is giving the energy of your ancestors and somebody else's ancestors came together and said, yo. This would this is gonna create one amazing bloodline right here. And somebody tried to come between it. They're trying as we speak. Holy Spirit. That's why it's important to remain focused on the bigger picture. Whatever that may be. Five of ones right here. Exactly. Yeah, to the sun card. These people can try to fight your destiny. Why are they worried about you so much? I don't know. But they can try to fight, you know, hold you back or, you know, come against whatever is for you. You're always going to come out on top. Somebody don't understand that. You're the high priestess. You're the alchemist. You know how to transmute energy, fam. Do it. Make this shit that they uh, trying to throw at you work for you. Holy Spirit. Yeah, speaking into existence. Page of Pentacles right here. I'm telling y'all, somebody wants you to feel like you don't have enough to do this and do that or whatever. No, do it. Because it's going to lead to big things. You're going to be very successful. Somebody does not want you and somebody to get married. Somebody got uh, love and marriage on the brain. They want to propose to you. But it's so much shit that's going on in, in this situation. Even if this is not like, um, want to propose. Some of y'all could have been engaged and then something happened right here. This is energy being thrown. Yeah. But it's time for, yeah, somebody right here. I don't know. Somebody going to have to make the first move. Somebody is going through a whole, they finna go through a whole lot of shit with the people that they try to. You know, do this shit with. It's going to be a group of them fighting. And you still going to be out here moving forward, winning, doing whatever it is you got to do. Yeah, the Empress right here. It's another card. To the Hierophant. So we got the High Priestess and we got the High, uh, high Priestess and the Hierophant. And we have the Empress coming out. Hmm. Telling you. This is somebody here that you're supposed to be with. You're supposed to marry. Yeah, this is this could already be the mother or father of your children. If not, that's what this situation, this is what it was, you know, y'all was supposed to be working towards. Yeah, investing in this commitment. Something more traditional, more stable. But it's just like somebody right here, they don't, they want you by their side. Y'all got a false twin or a false soulmate here that done stay claim to you. And it's like, no, they don't they don't want to see you with nobody else, male or female. But it's not for them to decide. That's what I'm talking about. People are always trying to play God. There is also somebody out here that feel like just because somebody got they got children together, then they should be together and they shouldn't be with you. And that's this person trying to project that energy. No. 
I mean, we in an ideal world, yeah, that would be perfect. You know, you got children with somebody, y'all settle down, you know, build a family. That That's not always the case, unfortunately. And in this situation, that just might be what it is. Yeah. Something is supposed to grow. It's not supposed to go backwards. It's supposed to move forward in a major way. But, the, yo, it, but you know what? <laughs> There's going to be bumps and bruises and everything along a twin flame journey. Now, I'm not telling I'm not going to sit up here and, you know, fuck with y'all and tell y'all that all twins end up together. Because, no, you don't have to end up with your twin flame. You don't. You can cancel that contract whenever you get ready. Take it to the most high. Lay it at his feet. You don't, you don't, you, most people, I ain't going to lie. Most people do not end up with their twin. They don't. Because something along the journey becomes very, very complicated. I'm not going to say karmic. I'm going to say complicated. To make two people want to distance themselves from each other. And most times, it is energetic work. Because when twins come together, y'all can change the fucking world. Somebody don't want that to happen. And so now, yeah, they're, they're fucking around with a twin flame union again. Because they know that no matter what, y'all always going to come back together. This may not be in the physical realm. It could be, you know, in the spiritual but y'all always going to be connected. Somebody wants you to cut the cord and everything else. Sever the tie. This is, that's not your energy, fam. I, I, I don't know who this is for, but I don't see you being a materialistic person. I don't see that you're, you, you, you're, uh, you know, you've been focused on. I just feel like, you know, you, you're not the type to always worry about, you know, how much money somebody got or, well, you know, the possessions or the status that somebody holds. That's not been you. But for you to be having those thoughts right now, yeah, you got to understand that that's, that's somebody fucking with you. Hmm. Yeah, the four pinnacles right here. Somebody feel like somebody holding them back. Yeah. No. It's somebody fucking with you, bro. Seven of Swords. Does somebody want you to feel like you don't have enough? Or if you spend this, then you... you what if I got to get this? See, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all ain't never been those type of people. I see y'all been the type that live in the lap of luxury. Some of y'all trust, y'all trust most high. And some people don't like that. It's like, even if you don't have it today, she most of the time, you know, gonna bless me with it tomorrow. Somebody don't like that positive attitude that you have about life, love, your career, your, your finances, all that kind of shit. They don't like your positivity, so they're trying to damper it, fam. Don't let it happen. Like, seriously. You the empress. You the high priestess. Emperor, high priest. I don't have an emperor out here. Yeah, but ten of pentacles. To the five of pentacles. You see how I keep coming out split. And then we got the nine of pentacles. Somebody does not want you and your divine counterpart together like real shit. Three of cups. This is third party. Somebody wants you to be single so that you they can come back into you or you'll come back into them. This is absolutely nuts. And for most of y'all, it's a man out here doing this. Yo. Some of y'all, it's a Leo for shit show. Sun card to the strip card. But they don't understand. I'm telling you, it's a vibe between you and this person. Y'all argue. Y'all fight everything. Ghost each other. Walk away. Don't talk. Silent treatment. Eventually, yeah, it gets hard. This twin flame journey gets hard. Why? Because people are always energetically fucking with some shit. And that's the truth. Y'all got somebody out here that's a master manipulator trying to keep you off your twin flame journey. Now, like I said, if you just want to get off your journey, then I ain't. Okay. Nobody said that you have to stay on it. But for most of y'all, y'all love this person. Y'all really do. But anywho, fam, that's the message that I have for you. It can work. It might take a little time and patience. But hey, if you got it, then get it. Ain't nobody saying sit around and wait on nobody though, fam. Live your life. Get out there. You know, explore your options. Do you. But just know that in divine time and you and your counterpart will be together. But yeah, fam. That's the message that I have for you. Hopefully it gave you some type of clarity here. If it did, y'all hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open. 
if you're interested, all that information can and the memberships, fam, personal readings and the memberships. If you're interested, all that in, uh, information can and will be found. I heard Emily can and will be found in the description box of, of the channel. It's always my pleasure, of course, fam. I thank y'all so much for allowing me to read for y'all. Sending you guys loving, healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy ass world. And we'll most definitely get back up.